Guys and girls, Josh Shamu here. Thank you all so much once again for tuning in. And today I'm going to be discussing some big surprises and big turn of events in my beloved DCEU, which I am only a viewer of and a fan of. Um, now, as most of us know, Kevin Shuhira, I won't refer to him as the name I've been referring to him at, referring, referring him to as. Awkward pause. Um, Kevin Shuhira is no longer in the position that Walter Hamada is now in. Now, um, for those of you that uh, have been following the DCEU closely, um, a ton of spinoffs, basically after Suicide Squad, it was like there were so many spinoffs being announced that, you know, it, it, it's almost like you were wondering whether or not uh, you were hoping that they didn't forget, like, the main characters, like Flash and, um, you know, Green Lantern Corpse, which is something that I'm really looking forward to and hoping is, uh, you know, something sooner rather than later. There were so many spinoffs being announced. There was a Joker and Harley, Harley movie being announced. There was a Deadshot solo movie due to it being Will Smith and, you know, people loving Deadshot. Um, there was... Uh, Harley solo movie. There was Gotham City Siren supposed to be made by David Ayer. I don't think, I really don't think that one is going to happen. I don't know. Um, there was also um, Deathstroke, something that I really want, really want to see uh, being made by the same guy that made the Raid films. And yeah, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> Um, you know, those were just some of the, uh, spinoffs being announced, and more recently, we got Ava DuVernay from, uh, Selma and A Wrinkle in Time on the New Guys film, and we also have, um, recently learned today that Steven Spielberg, the Steven Spielberg, the genius behind Ready Player One, Bridge of Spies, Indiana Jones, uh, Jurassic Park, um, you know, I could go on and on. Lincoln, even though I didn't like Lincoln, I could go on and on. The genius behind uh, those movies, D Steven Spielberg, is going to be helming a DC movie. Well, I shouldn't say helming because it's not confirmed that he would that he would be directing, but he is going to be producing a Black Hawk movie for DC. And I know next to shit about Black Hawk, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, in uh, in in this issue of Black Hawk, you remember that moment, man? You remember that moment? No, I'm not that. I'm not that guy. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know who Black Hawk is. You know, I only just heard of him today. But the fact that DC was able to get Steven Spielberg for a movie, for a DC movie, is excitement in itself. It was a Marvel movie for those of you keyboard warriors talking about, oh, look at this DC fan. Uh, for those of you keyboard warriors, if it was a D, if it was a Marvel movie, I would be equally as excited. So don't don't get on your keyboard talking about, yeah, Josh Shemuel, you you you're just a DC fan. You're just a DCU fan. You run your mouth. I'm not I, I'm not that guy. But anyway, um, yeah, Steven Spielberg is gonna be doing uh the a movie for DC. This is exciting news. You know, we've got Ava DuVernay. We've got um. James Wan with uh with Aquaman, we got David Samberg with uh Shazam, something I'm really looking forward to. And we obviously still have Patty Jenkins for uh Wonder Woman 2, which will release next not this November, but November of 2019. And we also learned that in a surprise turn of events, let me um pull up the the uh the details so I don't uh mess up anything. We also learned today that a Birds of Prey film is in development, and it also has a director in none other than Kathy Yan. Yan. Kathy Yan. Kathy Yan. Kathy Yan. Um, isn't uh, necessarily an experienced filmmaker. This will be her first film. It is a major film. She's a, uh, let me get the details. She was born and raised in Hong Kong and Washington, D.C. She graduated from Princeton University's Woodrow's, Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs and also got an MBA from the New York University Stern School of Business and an MFA from the New York University Tisch School of the Arts graduate film program. Holy God, how does she have, how does one person have this much time? But, um, it says she's done several shorts, um, she also has a movie called uh, called Dead Pigs set to 
set in Shanghai. And, um, yeah, she's going to be making a Birds of Prey film. News for fans, not only of Harley Quinn and uh, for fans of Suicide Squad. Yeah, I'm one of them. For fans of Suicide Squad, um, this is big news. Um, you know, characters like Black Canary, um, Huntress, characters like uh, even Katana, who was severely underused in Suicide Squad. See, I'm, I'm admitting that Suicide Squad has flaws. Something that... Uh, Someone that was underused in Suicide Squad, um, like Katana, could even potentially appear in the movie. Side to all of this, and maybe it's a good thing because that'll give more time for uh, Gavin O'Connor to make the best possible film and not be rushed into it. Um, it, it was reported that uh, Suicide Squad 2 will be delayed. Uh, it won't be filming this year. Uh, a lot of people are saying that. Will Smith is going to be busy with Bad Boys um, 3. Given the fact that he was one of the highlights along with Margot Robbie, um, Viola Davis, and even Jai Courtney to some degree um, in the first Suicide Squad, I highly doubt they would, want to con they would want to make Suicide Squad 2 without him being involved. And he's even contracted to be a uh, dead shot for multiple honor huntress or black canary aren't in birds of prey which i'm pretty sure of those three i just mentioned at least one of them will be i'm hoping black canary because that will signal that they may be deep the dc you may be doing something with uh green arrow which i hope they do but anyway um yeah um even if those characters aren't in the movie those those specific characters i just mentioned this also allows for um batgirl to make an appearance and Batgirl was something that Josh Whedon what Josh 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 J O S S Josh 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 Whedon was supposed to be um helming thank God he's not anymore and um you know that's something that's rumored that's also being said to be being fast tracked with um and I'm not surprised that it is given the success of Wonder Woman uh you know I'm not surprised Batgirl is being fast tracked. The Birds of Prey film is something that's going to be um, smaller scale than, say, Suicide Squad, which, given that this is the first film, I, I sincerely hope it, that it is. Away from, from uh, all of this, and the thing that I admire most is that it shows that the DCU is not slowing down, it's not stopping, and it shows that they're willing to take risks with their movies and I think the biggest thing going forward is just simply allowing the director male female whatever you know to do his or her thing with the movie and not meddle with where they where they aren't needed not try and make the movie when they're just there basically to distribute the movie to finance the movie to promote the movie to have their name attached to the movie they don't really make the movie the director the actor the screenwriter and the producer make the movie and i think that's the big thing um going forward is don't you know and it and it seems like they're doing that with aquaman shazam and um obviously with Wonder woman too there you know there's going to be a lot of creative leeway a lot of creative leeway there Gentlemen, Birds of Prey, Black Hawk, Steven Spielberg, Kathy Yan, 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 Kathy Yan, are all coming to the DCU, and they are all coming to a theater near you. We don't know when, but they are coming.